What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on Matplotlib, how to change the figure size, the width, the height, and everything that goes into the like the actual plots in Matplotlib. I didn't know how to do this because I'm kind of a self-taught programmer and it didn't really make sense to me. But I finally figured it out after searching the internet for hours and hours and hours. But there wasn't really a video, so I decided to make this video. Hopefully this helps. If it does, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe for more content like this. And comment down below if this helped you out at all and maybe different use cases for it. Okay guys, jumping into the actual tutorial. So I've read in some data, this data is soccer data about a team in Barcelona uh, called FC Barcelona, if you're not familiar with soccer or anything, or football, depending on where you're from watching this. But this is, we're just looking at a couple of statistics that I have from a data file I have in them. I've imported my matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, I'm reading it in line, import the CSV file, and then just to familiar, familiarize yourself with the data I'm using. So we have data, it's in, a, it's in a data frame, so we're using the pandas data frames, and we're using the round, which is basically just uh, the game number in the season, and then we're looking at the data, which is the expected goals, which is just statistic in soccer as well as we're looking at the expected goals against and then my biggest thing so I've made the plot so if you import the plot so my biggest thing is I'm trying to make it look nice I have a seaborn kind of background and I'm just trying to make it look nice but as you can tell down here the the x-axis is pretty compact like if you take off this rotation right here especially, we'll just comment it out. If you take off the rotation, you can tell that it's like, it's really compact and the only way around that is, well, there's a couple ways around it. You could skip like each, you could skip and have it be go by twos, but what you wanna do, if you wanna make the plot bigger, you just do plt.figure, then do fig, size equals oops and then you can do it goes width by height so if you want 15 5 that's usually what i do and then it spreads it out figure size is bigger the thing the actual size of the plot is bigger so it has the x-axis which is you can now see the distinct just realize that i missed 10 in the data gotta go look at the data again but that really is the way around it, if you want the rotation back, you can get the rotation on it. But one important thing is that this needs to be above your actual scatter plot. So it creates the figure and then you have the scatter on it. If you put it down here, like say, because this is the issue I was having as well. If you put it down here and then you run that, I mean, it creates a completely different figure. So you need to have the fig size plt.figure and then put it above as well. All right, so that's how you do it with a normal plot. If you want to do it with subplots, it's pretty much the same thing. You would just do plot.subplots, and then you would designate how many plots you want. So if you wanted one by two, and then in here is where you would actually put the fig size. So you'll put fig size equals, and then however you want it, if you want it 10 by five, and then that gives you your two different plots, if you wanted to switch it, you could do 15 by five, makes them a little bit wider, or you could do 15 by two, and that makes it as wide as this one was up here in terms of the dimensions. So doing it with subplots, or if you're doing it with just a normal plot, it's pretty easy. And the normal one is just plot.figure, but subplots, you just throw it right into the actual subplot size, and that will adjust each one. You can yeah, that's it for this episode today, guys, on the journey of the data science. Make sure that if you haven't already, you're subscribing and like the video if you can. That really helps me out a lot. Leave in the comments if this helped you at all and any other suggestions you might have on future videos or different kind of tutorials and content you'd like to see. 
And thanks.